If heaven has a first 11, Arthur Morris may well be padding up to open the batting. Arthur Morris is the backbone of the Australian batting, with a chance for the 105. He wasn't as prolific as some of his contemporaries, but he was arguably better to watch. He was a magnificent hooker of the ball. Um, he played the cut well, and his cover driving was just a joy to watch. Morris made his first grade debut at 14 for St George in southern Sydney. I looked out there in that beautiful green ground, and all those fellas in white with that beautiful red and white cap on, I thought I was in Wonderland, I really did. <laughs> his first class career paused for service in World War II. When cricket resumed in 1946, he earned a place in the Australian side. Two years later, he earned a place in history on the Invincibles tour of England. The fact that we're all alive again, we're playing cricket again, and uh, who do you think's coming over but Don Bradman himself as captain? So, yeah, I think that all uh, added up. The left-hander was Australia's leading run scorer. When you've got Morrison Barnes opening for Australia, you can't get two better ones, and I've never seen two better ones since. Morris was at the non-striker's end when Bradman was dismissed for the final time, a tale he loved to tell. I said, yeah, I, I was there. And he said, where are you? He said, what were you doing over there? Were you on business? I said, no, I was up the other end. In 46 tests, Morris made 12 centuries, scored 3,500 runs at an average of 46. He received an MBE for service to cricket, and to the end he was a purist. 2020 wasn't for him. It's not my scene. His scene was in white, willow in hand, at the top of the order. Left-hander Morris sends up his entry. There, look at that for a nice shot. He raises his bat. <laughs> there it is, he got my hundred. And innings to cherish. Ben Worsley, ABC News.